19 Kindergarten Habitats. Teachers, this week we're going to talk about animals and where they live in their habitat. And what I have for kindergarten is a sorting activity that we're going to do. And I have made maps of different habitats animals live in. We have a forest. We have fresh water. You might have to tell them that. They're not going to have heard these before. Grasslands. A desert. And salt water. So some of these may, they may know, some of them they have not known. So I also made some little, for the older grades, they're going to have these little dioramas. So I'm just going to show you forest, grassland, fresh water, desert, and salt water. For kindergarten, what they're going to do is take their animals and they're going to place them and discuss with the people at their table where they go because sometimes animals can fit into two different categories. The important thing here is you need to listen to what the students are saying about where their animals live. For an example, we've been doing the bear for two weeks now. They've got a bear here who's eating a green fish and they're going to decide where that bear lives. You know, I kind of hope they pick the forest because that's actually where bears live because they need that habitat. Those, They need the animals that live in that habitat to eat. But then again, he's got a fish in his mouth, so they might say that the bear lives close to a pond or a lake. And you know what? There's no really wrong answer except... Bears don't live in deserts. There wouldn't be any food for them to eat. They could wander into the grassland, but that's not where they live. And we know they don't live in the ocean or the salt water. So there could be some right answers here, but primarily the bear would live in woods. So it's important for you to circulate around as your kids begin to sort and classify these animals. They've seen different movies. They've seen different things on TV. Got a little prairie dog here. He could live in grassland. But you know, he also might be finding a desert area. But we know he doesn't live in the ocean. So let him, let him give your reasons why they're placing them like that. And then we have some that are pretty easy to do. So we know this shark lives in the ocean. But I don't want him just to, in five minutes, be done here. Like, take, for example, this woodpecker. We know that he pecks on trees, but you know, in their little reasoning mind, he could live in these trees. He could live in the grassland, but I don't see any trees. So they could pick the forest for him. And they need to understand that animals live in different parts of the forest. Like the bear mostly roams on the forest floor, whereas birds live up in the canopy. And we don't find the shark on the beach. We find him more way out in the ocean. So it's kind of important where they decide to place them also. And then we're just going to go through the different animals. Like here's a little lizard. We know that lizards live in deserts. But you know, they live on the forest floor too, and they also live in the grassland. And we know they live at the edge of the lake. So it's not about who's wrong or right here. It's can they give you a good scientific reason why that animal can live there. And I have these, the only fish I could find were some fishing worm, I mean fishing fish without hooks in them. So... You know what? They could be a saltwater fish. It's whatever their reasoning is. And then this one might live in this pond or lake here. So let's get these animals sorted and decide where they live. They might be disappointed because I didn't give them a mountain. So we could put him on top of this mountain. But he actually lives in the really rugged mountains. Then we have the elk. Elk live in grasslands. 
We have another lizard. This one looks kind of like you might live in the desert by the color of him. And we know snakes live in the desert. Snakes actually live everywhere. This one is an eel. Now there are freshwater eels. And there's saltwater eels. So whatever they decide, let them pick. But give you a reason why. <laughs>